Okay, Crocker, it's him. And Saho. Now let's kick it on over to our first episode of Remote HTV. Today is Thursday, March 19th, and it is a blue day. I hope all of you had a great first day of remote learning. Before we started this, we were all able to chat and get energy from our friends, classmates, and teachers. Through HTV, we want to continue connecting and creating memories together as a Crocker community. For the next few weeks, you will all have more fun opportunities in our, to engage in our shows with more and new segments. Now for In the News, let's dive into a list of interesting activities to do while at home. Hey Parker, it's Sabrina, your new In the News anchor for the next few weeks. Since we're all stuck at home in self-quarantine mode, here are some ideas to for how to have fun at home. You could start keeping a day journal of all the things that are going on, or you could try a new recipe, with adult supervision, of course. You could paint or draw or try to follow a painting or drawing tutorial. Just so you all know, Bob Ross is very relaxing. You could also clean your bedroom, since most of our bedrooms are definitely in need of some cleaning. At least mine is. There are also some many good books out there, so with your free time, you could read. Another thing you could do is have a movie night with your family. There are so many options. Well, that's all for me, Crocker. Let's take it back to our anchors. Starting today, students are welcome to send in videos of them doing basketball trick shots. This will be part of Trick Shot Tuesday, where there will be a weekly theme of for what type of trick shot you can do for that week. Send in your basketball trick shots and they will be shown on HTV this Tuesday. Many of you 7th and 8th graders may know Misty, one of our amazing social studies teachers. Every day, she shows her students an interesting event that has happened in history on that day. Today, we are starting a new segment to get Today in History, inspired by Miss D's idea. Hi Crocker, today is the start of a new segment called Today in History, where we talk about important events that happened in history. Today in 1831, the first ever American bank robbery took place in New York. In 1915, the first ever picture of Pluto was taken. And in 1918, the US Congress approved the creation of time zones and daylight, daylight savings times. Thank you, Miss D. Now let's kick it on over to Lara with birthdays. Crocker, it's Lara bringing you your birthdays for today. Happy birthday to Nuria. Although you can't wish her a happy birthday in the halls, you can wish her a happy birthday through social media. That's all for me. Let's take it over to Eleni with weather. Hey Crocker, it's Eleni bringing you the weather for the next couple of productions. Today and tomorrow we have partly cloudy skies. Over the weekend on Saturday we have again partly cloudy skies. Also on Sunday there's a high chance it will possibly rain. And lastly, to start off the week, the week off, on Monday, there's also a high possibility of rain. Well, it's all for me, Crocker. Let's go over to Hippo with selfies um, with selfies of the day. Hey, Crocker, this is Hippo with your selfies. Today, we have selfies from two large groups of seventh graders. Don't forget to send in your selfies to the HTV website and for future selfies, dress up in Crocker gear and send photos of yourself in school spirit. Although we are not at school, <laughs> let's send it back to the set. That was the end of the first episode of our remote HTV class. Bye, Crocker. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone.